Everything's going to be fine. Promise? Let you and me get some breakfast. Okay, Gramps. Houston Endeavor? Roger Endeavor. I guess you've heard from Don Mitchell. Roger. Well, I'm powered up here so you can see how serious I am about what I have to say. Scrub Discovery. Scrub the rescue. I know you've all been on 24-hour call, and we appreciate that. You're all heroes. Clay. Let me finish. Please. Mitchum and I agree that the risk to Discovery is too great. He has reconsidered and decided not to launch. If we're going to get home, we have to solve our problem ourselves. It's you and me, Bob. Well, Clay, you're there. We're here. It's your call. What the hell are you doing? Turn that thing off. We cannot let them do it. We have to try in every possible way to fix our problem before we allow them to embark on a suicide mission. Scott, there are 18 million parts in this spacecraft. Where are you going to start? Forget 18 million. Our problem lies in an engine, a simple hydraulic engine, no bigger than the one in Karen's convertible. They have a window of opportunity that small and closing fast. If they don't get Discovery off the pad within three days, Discovery we're is not going to happen. I scrubbed it. What are you talking? That's Flight's call. I am not going to let them commit suicide. Flight made a decision. Let it stand. Flight won't override me. wife is pregnant. I want to see my kid grow up. Look, you don't have anybody to go home to. If you want to go down, find another ship to do it with. Excuse me. Where do you get off acting like you've got more at stake in living than the rest of us? I have a family. We all have families. You're no special case, Scott. No one is. Are you ready to die in this thing? Do I look ready to die? Now, Clay is the commander of this ship. If he says that we have a chance, then I believe him. Why would Flight go along with Mitchum's plan if there wasn't something to it? Because their only other option is to do nothing. I think Clay's right. Who gives a damn what you think? You would if I happened to agree with you. Shut up! That is enough, Mr. Hines! Look, we all knew there were risks right from the start. That didn't stop any of us from taking the trip. If we want to get home, the only way it's going to happen is by all of us pulling together. Back to Houston, Commander. Houston Endeavor, are you there? Roger. Screen up all available data on APU-3. We're going to fix it. What does that mean? Can I talk to your families? of a rescue mission. NASA officials are meeting at this moment to weigh the options left after Commander Jarvis's extraordinary decision. But experts say there is little possibility of bringing the crippled ship home and only a short amount of time before their oxygen becomes scarce. There is word out of Washington tonight that the president has asked everyone to pray for the crew on board the Endeavor. No, honey, look, this is really the best shot we have. Yeah, I know you think it sounds crazy because this thing has millions of parts, but we're really just working on a simple engine. <laughs> Scott, you've got to tell me what's really going on. Talk to me, Scott. Just tell me the truth. I love you.
Houston Endeavor. Copy Endeavor. Request a circuit to Sim Control, Rena Winter. Do I copy Clay? You want to talk to uh... Frank? Rena Winter in Sim Control. Roger Clay. Okay, Sim Control. Patch for new endeavor. Just like a guy, never calls when you want him to, only when he needs something. You know me. <sighs> I know you. I even think like you. I have the manuals right here. All right. Listen to me. The problems with one and two are obvious. They're beyond repair. You agree? Copy? Agree. Copy. Three? Who knows? So we can't count out a wiring glitch, a loose sod, or something fixable. You with me? Yes. Even if by some miracle they fix that third APU, they can't land with it. If they don't burn up, they'll just drop and crash. Am I wrong? No opinion on this, Mitchum? You don't want it. Trust me. I should have said no. No, Scott, it's not okay for you to endanger your life and everything that we have together. It doesn't work that way. Saying no doesn't work? You can say it. Go ahead. Look, falling in love with someone means falling in love with their dreams. Yeah. So you're saying I have no one else but myself to blame because I happen to fall in love with a guy who defies gravity for a living. Well, I can think of a couple of people you might want to blame for this situation. But Scott isn't one of them. Are you right? Doesn't mean that at this moment I don't wish Karen had a nice, quiet desk job somewhere. Are you going to tell them, or do I? You know what happens on the ground when you have even the slightest glitch in an APU? They toss it, trash the whole thing. This is different. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Let's face it. We're dead. No, you face it. I'm too busy trying to survive. You may be right, but I like her sales pitch better. Finally! What? What? It's time to teach the boys in mission control a thing or two you don't learn at MIT. Houston Endeavor, beginning EVA prep. Copy Endeavor, we're scrambling to get engineers from the United Space Alliance in on this. And they'll be ready by the time you are. Just don't let them get in Raina's way. Scott, you've got to pull it together. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Karen, come with me. I said, come on. Okay. Just trying out that sunset trick of yours. Is it working? Not as well as I'd hoped. Yeah. Endeavor, you're good to suit up for EVA. Roger, Houston. 
straight to the point. I'm going out alone. No, two have to go out on EVA, you know that. I need somebody in here, Karen. I need somebody reliable, just in case... But policy says that two have to go out. What are they gonna do, fire me? <laughs> it's funny what comes into your head. What? Tonight, about 20 years ago. It must have been some night. I was at a club with some buddies, and this girl I liked was there. Name of Linda Singer. Always had a thing for Linda, but she was the kind of girl that was never alone. Always had her girlfriends or boyfriends around her. Well, that night when I saw her, she was standing there all alone. And this song was playing, my favorite at the time, and I was late, and I really wanted to dance with her. I knew that this was my moment. All I had to do was walk up and ask. But I didn't. And a minute later, she was back with her girlfriend, and I never had my chance with Linda. I don't know why I thought of that just now. What's her oxygen look like? Day and a half, two at the most. All right, let's go get the cutting torch out of the locker. You can't. There's no other way. Unless you can find me a really big can opener. No, the exterior might be covered with hydrazine. One spark clay, and it's 4th of July. Well, let's hope the sun baked it off. Now you get back up. There's no other way. Unless you can find me a really big can opener. No, the exterior might be covered with hydrazine. One spark clay, and it's 4th of July. Well, let's hope the sun baked it off. Now you get back upstairs and give Scott some parenting tips.